thought we'd do a post-show open you, mic segment. So now this won't air, but it'll be on YouTube. That's so right. Be, so, so, I have, so be if I have careful any what you say. Donald Trump right. moments. Uh, One of the things we didn't get into, uh, I'd be just uh, be interested in your view, since uh, Anaheim is, with the exception of uh, uh, what Anaheim Hills is, is yours. So you have the whole resort district. Right. You've got Angel Stadium and Honda Center and the Platinum Triangle and all that. There's a lot going on there. Are, have you gotten involved in the Angel uh, talks with the city at all? I, I haven't really gotten involved in that. I, there's enough people involved yeah. in that aspect. You know, I've got to, one of my staff members is running for one of the new council districts. That's certainly... Well, a, who's that? Mark Lopez. Oh, okay. And he's running in the new district where the... Uh, sort of the stadium, the Honda Center, the Platinum Triangle, uh -huh. and then it runs uh -huh. kind of down the 57 corridor to the 91. Yeah. And they've never had a council member from their district. It's a brand uh -huh. new district. Yeah. And he's running, he, he really has very little money, but he's he's running really hard. I'm sure uh -huh. he's he must be showing yeah. up number one in the polls because yeah. they're carpet bombing him in, uh, yeah. with the hit pieces. So <laughs> obviously he's doing so something what, right. Uh, uh, so what... Uh, uh, um, the uh, uh, with Anaheim is it more like what what do they ask of you as the supervisor because I would think Anaheim pretty much has their infrastructure they deal with all that stuff is it like Sean just leave us alone or do they come to you for no, certain no, they're, things? well they're very active and they're very active on all the regional boards what Anaheim has is sophistication and and they've got depth of staff whereas if you go to a La Habra Placentia we're dealing more with 50,000 people they don't have the ability to take a Hail Mary for a grant so there may be money that would be appropriate for La Habra, but in many cases, and I've tried to change that since I've been here because I, I, I felt it when I was in Fullerton, Anaheim has the staff to go after all those long shot asks, whereas a lot of the cities, because they're smaller, Rick, even if it's not a long shot, they don't have yeah. the staff to dedicate to it. Uh -huh. So, you know, OCT has a lot of interplay with Anaheim because mm -hmm. they're so big, so much in infrastructure. Yeah. but. Uh, you know, Anaheim right. is sort of my Irvine. They have uh, they, they they have a lot of political infighting, and I, I yeah. really try, and I hope I've been successful. I, I think I have. Just just not getting sucked into that yeah. vortex. In you know, the last time yeah. around, I politically I endorsed the people on both sides, and I just guys, you're you're all my friends. I could counsel you on the fights, but I'm not going to. Right. You can fight it out, but just just don't drag me into your arguments. I'm right. not part of them. I, I'm friends with all of you, and. These are really esoteric issues that are, in many cases, split in hairs. The average guy wouldn't even understand anyway. One other thing I want to ask you about, uh, well, maybe two things. We'll see how, how it goes. But You're transportation, tra on transportation, you've been very involved with OCTA, and you still serve on yes. You're still on the board. Yeah, right? I've, been the, I've been the chair of Metrolink for the last two years, largely in a rescue operation uh -huh. to rebuild that agency. And I, I think from where it was at to the brink of collapse really to now really having a strong foundation uh -huh. I think ready to start focusing on the service issues but they, they had some huge foundational problems uh, before they got to just getting the trains to run on time they, they couldn't account for money and things but that's uh, that's just been a quiet sort of feather in my cap that I, I went and helped rebuild that agency you know OCTA to their credit is so well run I've been involved and I've enjoyed it and it's sort of big picture stuff but uh, that that hasn't that has been as much of a challenge as Metrolink. How have you come down? There's been controversy over these rail projects. One proposed for Anaheim, one in Santa Ana. Uh, how have how have you uh, come down on those? I, basically, um, my issue has been from the beginning, Rick. These should be about transportation solutions. Santa Ana, when they were tasked with this, picked a, a pretty modest transit solution. Um, what, what was originally proposed in Anaheim was largely seen by the Federal Transportation Administration back in D.C. as really more of a sort of a, a corporate service model, which was kind of the, the business travelers, the, the park visitors, and the... Basically a the, Disney the, shuttle? Well, the sports teams. Uh -huh. uh, the FTA, the, the head of the Western region, looked me in the eye and just said, look, we don't, we don't do corporate type shuttle. This isn't what we do. What it was missing was the blue collar ingredient of your, your, your Monday through Friday uh -huh. riders. So what I've tried to do is just go back to, and I think they've listened, yeah. is go back to the folks in Anaheim and say, look, can you relook at this deal? I'm not against your deal, but, but as it's proposed, maybe it can be proposed in a different manner that could serve 
more people, attracts some federal mm -hmm. money, and actually for less of our cash, maybe we'd get more project. Mm -hmm. And I think they've been, it, it took a while, but when they finally realized yeah. I wasn't their enemy, but I was trying to help, um, I think there's been some open minds, yeah. and now we're really focusing more on Harbor Boulevard as the corridor to carry all the passengers, uh -huh. and whatever happens with the Arctic to the the Civic Center, or the, the Convention Center Park area might be the tail rather than the sole purpose. Okay. And that, that, that's really the change. Right. And AQMD, another board you sit <laughs> on, the Air Quality Management District. There's been a lot going on, a lot of uh, tussling with the state. Are, uh, you know, what's going to happen there? Basically, it looks like the state might take control away from uh, 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 local officials like you? Yeah, that died temporarily. I, I think what you had was a lot of hurt feelings that the, you know, the administration and, and Kevin DeLeon felt that what we should have done uh, in this past year was pinch down more. And it what it was sold as is we'd rolled back a rule. Rick, the, the AKMD's never rolled back any rule in 20 years. Every rule is just a more stringent version of the last one. So there was a proposal to force all of the petroleum refiners to cut tons of emissions out of the atmosphere a year on top of where they're already at. And the argument became this esoteric argument over whether it should be 12 tons a year, tons, that they should pull out of the atmosphere or 14. And it was a win for everybody, no matter which number we picked. Our board settled on 12 because what we realized is the working poor in this community already have the highest gas prices in the U.S. other than Alaska and Hawaii, uh, maybe in Manhattan. But realistically, you have the yeah. largest, the highest prices, and we have the cleanest fuel of anyone. So they're paying, and we're doing our best, but because of our topography and some other things and just our density, still making a difference with gasoline. But the most difficult people to afford more expensive mm -hmm. gas, which is what this would have created, are the working poor, the very people that Mr. De Leon and them would say were their first priority, were going to be the ones getting run over by this. So we reached a compromise, which the AQMD has done often. Uh, we're going to meet all of our targets. The industry cooperated, mm -hmm. the industry being the petroleum refiners. And it was a good win. And it was a weird place where the conservatives and the most liberal agreed. And it was a lot of the what I would call the Chardonnay Democrats, kind of this, you know, Santa Monica and... Silicon Valley, those were the people that were worked up and offended. And, you know, maybe if you're making 400 grand a year programming for Google, this all makes sense. But most of the people that, that live down yeah. here aren't in that circumstance and they were going to get hit. So what's going to happen? Or do you think they're going to rejigger the board to, uh, take, uh, to take more control from Sacramento? I hope not. Uh, it, it didn't pass this time. And, and I hope it's died down. And what they've realized is this wasn't a takeover bid. That's not what this was about. This was a reasoned compromise to trying further the agenda okay. of cleaning the atmosphere, but not just wipe everybody okay. out in the, in the meantime. And I, I hope when sobriety sets in uh -huh. and everybody just takes a deep breath, what they realize is that their, their knee jerk was, oh, this is a bunch of Republicans taking over that are in bed with the petroleum refiners. Yeah. That, that's not what was happening. Okay. One last tough question, because yeah. if I don't ask you, people are going to say I let you skate. I don't want to and, skate. And I, I did mention the pension, and, and you, you corrected me on the particular there. But as you know, there was that argument over your pension. And, you know, the same unions that have tangled with you on, uh, you know, the, 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 the need to, for them to give back to address the unfunded mm -hmm. liability will point out that you've got a nice pension, and I think there was a suggestion without getting into all the weeds that you kind of played the system and you very cleverly worked things out so that you got a nice pension for yourself. How do you respond? Well, I don't know about a nice pension. I mean, I, 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 I work for the county. Our formula is 162 at 65. I mean, that, those are so numbers. So in your case, it's going to be about it's, how much a, uh, a year? Uh, 30,000 something? Well, less than 2% uh, times yeah. Four of yeah. these last four years, so eight percent of one hundred and forty-five thousand dollars. I don't know. All right. I mean, okay. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah. it's it, it, it. Hey, it, it is what it is. But the the intention for the ballot measure that I ran and that won, mm -hmm. that this this is all in the weed stuff. Yeah. But the importance was that I knew and saw that there were members of the board that had previously voted to give themselves the big pension. And there were members that were going to run for the board that are already in the system. And the argument was already there. Well, you know, I'm grandfathered in with the old big pension. What I did was mandate that if you are going to run for this board, you're going to have the lowest and you pay in it like 20% of your salary. 
You're going to have the lowest pension and the highest pay in, and there's not going to be any exceptions. So nobody's going to double dip or do any mm -hmm. of this. Where I got caught up is when I showed up, I didn't want the pension. I still would rather be out of it. What you found is it's not legally possible. Despite all the arguments yeah. and that you ought to be out, you, you can't do it. Yeah. They'd taken my withholdings. I tried to get out. I was fine with being out. And they came back to me at my swearing in and said, we have a problem. We can't have you sign up yeah. for the system. You're already tech. We've already taken money yeah. from you. That's government. You know? Well, they're going to make you take it. It's <laughs> government. But yeah. I assure you, the 162 at 65 formula that we have now since I got on uh -huh. the board, probably largely because I was on the board. Yeah. Rick, if that was the formula for every government agency in the state, we wouldn't be talking about pensions. Yeah. We wouldn't have a pension issue. That's a formula that's slightly less than the old formula you had back mm -hmm. in the 80s and 90s when we didn't have these pension problems. Yeah. All this pension stuff is the spiking that lowered the age of retirement yeah. and raised the multiplier. Mm -hmm. That does not exist for our Orange County employees anymore. Okay. It's, it's a smaller formula than, than you had in the 80s. Yeah. It, there would have never been a problem. But we've got this enormous bulk of current employees that are in the old system, which is 2.7% yep. at 55. And to help all the new employees with the low formula that mm -hmm. isn't going to be a problem, even have to continue to pay for the other form yep. system just so we can get this pig right. out of the python and, and cycle yeah. through it. I, I realize and, and, talking and, numbers gets no, no, really no, esoteric. But, uh, and but, I think just as you were talking about homelessness before, this is a problem everywhere. It's a problem everywhere, but but the, 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 the spike in the ball in the end zone part is Orange County has the lowest formula of anyone. Right. And it's not, a, it's not a close fight. So it's we, bad, but it's worse elsewhere. I, I would, if, if yeah. everyone would do what Orange County did, you would see tremendous benefit in the long-term projections. Yeah. And Orange County, as opposed to the state system, the state system essentially refis every month for a new 30 mm -hmm. years. Orange County is set for a date certain when it will be paid to zero. It's putting a lot of pressure on us now because the fund isn't performing the way everyone yeah. had hoped. Uh, but we're paying in. We're paying in today so that this, this balloon doesn't mm -hmm. just keep getting bigger. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Sean, thanks again for coming on. We hey, wound up you. doing a show and a half. So well, thanks much. Whatever it takes. Yeah.